Hi and welcome to this short video where I'm going to show you how to make our new nightlight kit. Um, this is a maybe an intermittent kit rather than a beginner's kit like your geek badge, um, but it's not too difficult. The only things you'll need other than the kit are an elastic band and a soldering iron and some solder. So first of all you want to check that everything's in the kit. So you've got a lid, four sides, and a base. You've also got five 270 ohm resistors, one 39k ohm resistor, one mini photocell or a, an LDR. A little USB power connector, a transistor, and five white LEDs. So once you've checked that, it's time to get soldering. Now I suggest that we start with the base. So first of all you want to start with the lowest components, and those would be the resistors. So Firstly, you need to bend them over like that. This is the 39k one, so we'll pop that into the, the correct position, which is just here. And make sure it's sitting flush. You can bend the legs out a little bit there so it doesn't fall. And then simply solder it into place. So, tin your iron, and then holding the edge of the iron against the pin and the pad, feed the solder, remove the solder, and then away. And again, once that's soldered, you need to remove the legs, so using a pair of um, side cutters, snip while holding the top of the pin, and that'll stop it flying off. Like that. And then you go on to populate the rest of the resistors then the LEDs, and then the transistor, and we'll come back to the video when it's time for the LDR and the USB connector. Okay, now that's all the other components, so we've got the resistors, the LEDs, and the transistor all soldered into place. We need to get the LDR, which is the, the mini photodiode, and this will detect the light level, and then switch on the transistor to switch on the LEDs. Now this part you want to actually be soldered from the other side. It doesn't matter what way around this goes, so it's not like the transistor which is a D-shape, but the D-shape's on the silk screen on the board. And the LEDs, you've got the flat edge, which is the small leg. So you want to put this in, but you want to bend it so you can try and get it as flush as you can to that edge. So that will be basically sticking at the front of your nightlight. So once that's in place, as you like it, we will solder that. So if I grab my solder, which just fell off the desk, clean my iron, tin it, and then just heat in the pad and the leg. There you go, so that's the LDR soldered in. So again, you want to snip away the legs. And then we've got the USB connector, which is here. This also goes in the bottom. So you, it's got two little locating lugs. Those will go through the holes there. And you can see it sits on those two pads. So it's a surface mount part, but it's not actually that difficult to solder. So what you want to do, again, get your iron. Tin it. You want to do one leg. Just sort of... So one leg holds. And then make sure it's nice and straight. 
There it is. And then solder the next leg. Now you don't have to be too neat with this, as you can tell. As long as those two are soldered, you haven't got crazy fingers like me. I've got mine sitting up just a little bit too much, so if I heat those up and push down with my thumb, but careful that it doesn't get too hot. You can see that's almost flat. So if I again push down with my finger and then heat this one up a bit and you can feel it giving and then it will take the solder there you go it's nice and flat there you got the two locating rods so if you want to hold it into place a bit better simply flood those with solder so one and two and that'll give it a bit more mechanical strength for when you're plugging the, the USB cable in and out. So that's the baseboard. So now it's a good time to try this. So what you want to do, get a micro USB cable, plug it in, and if it's like this, it won't light up, and cover that, and if it lights up, then you know it's all working fine. If it's not lighting up, then you need to check that your transistor is the correct way around, and that you're soldered the power correctly, and the LEDs are the right way around. Okay, so now it's time for the case. Okay, so this is the, the case. You'll need these four, sorry, five PCBs. So you've got the top and all the four sides. Now you can see here it's got little solder pads which line up with one another, and then also here and here. So basically what we want to do is solder these, this one to that one, that one to that one, etc. And you can see where it says solder on the internal silk screen so you know where to solder it. Now this can be a little bit tricky but what you want to do is kind of loosely have it all fitting into the correct place and get that in there And when it's loosely fitting, then you can sort of tighten it up a bit. So, a bit there, yep. And then, that's that one in, that one in, that one in. And while holding it tight, you can check it. And if it's all okay, this is where the elastic band comes in handy. So, we put that down there like that. And we don't give you elastic band, but most people have got them lying about. And that way you can use your favourite elastic band, if you have a favourite elastic band. So, that's it there, so it's all holding nicely. You now need to get the solder. And I suggest you start doing the, the bottom ones. So, there's a few different ways you can do it, whatever way works for you, really. So you can try feeding the solder in through one of the side holes and then if you hold the iron so it's touching both pads and then kind of flood the solder in and depending on how thick your solder is it might not be very easy as I'm showing you now it doesn't really matter if it's neat or not you just basically want both sides to be connected so that's one I think I'll maybe try it like this and bend the solder down a bit, set it flat and then move the iron back and forward. Yep, that's that one done. <coughs> okay, so the more solder the better, you really want it to be good and strong. I think my iron might be a little bit warm. This is quite fluxy solder. So we'll come back to this when I'm going to do the sides. Okay. Okay, so now we've got 
the base, or the top, sorry, connected to the sides, now we need to connect the sides to one another. I find the easiest way of doing this is to lie the case down, and then if you lie the solder in the corner and just feed it with the iron there, and that gets it nice and into the corner. So again we'll come back in a second once all these are done. Okay so that's the sides all connected on, we can take this elastic band off now, be careful because because you've been heating up such a large area um, to get the mechanical connection with the solder it does get very hot. So that is the case top, so if we turn this upside down we can then take the base that we made and it slides nicely in there, so this is the front and this is the rear where the power goes and then you can either leave it like that if you've got a nice tight fit but if it's a little bit loose we've given you the solder positions here again so once more you can just solder these together so if I do right into the corner and then flood that what I'll do is I'll do I'll do half of them just now, just so that it holds. And then we'll find a USB cable to plug into it to show you it working. There you go. And then, now again, when you're making the case for it, the neatness of the soldering doesn't really matter. You're, it's not any, it's not giving an electrical connection to anything, it's purely mechanical. So, really, the more solder, the better. Um, I'm using my iron quite a lot hot, um, and this is quite a rosiny solder, so there's quite a lot of smoke, but again, I just want to make sure that I can flood fill this nicely to hold it all together. And... The last one here, so I'll push that nicely into the corner. A bit more solder. There we go. One case, and you can see it's pretty strong. Now, if you wanted to, you could take a black marker pen or paint or whatever and paint the or colour in the sides here. Although I quite like the the contrast. And you've got the this, the cutouts here, which is hopefully the light will shine through it if it all works. So what we're going to do is power it up and show you it running. I'll maybe have to kill the lights a little first. Okay, so this is the USB cable plugged in. You can see the power is off to it. There's no light coming out, but if I cover... Oh, you can see it lights up and it fades in and fades out depending on how light or how dark it is in the room. So that is the night light. Now I'll see if I can get you a nice um, dark shot of it illuminated. Okay, so I can't actually kill the lights here because of the skylight, but I'm shading it as it coming into light, and then putting the shade back. There you go. Excellent. Thanks very much. Bye.